Hey guys, I'm Box Truck Corey. This is my Box Truck RV conversion, and today we're talking about what it's like to be injured on the road. How does it differ from sticks and bricks? How do you manage an injury when you're living in a van or an RV or anything? What do you do? What are the challenges that come up? Well, stay tuned because we're going to talk about all those issues and more. Bubba Box Truck Corey! The fun begins. Let's go in the hospital and see what they have to say. Well, got a snazzy new arm and it's been about 40 minutes. I'm uh, now out of the waiting room in the emergency department and I'm gonna see a doctor here soon. Uh, I don't think I kept up with my normal moisturizing routine this morning. I think I might have a little eyebrow dandruff going on. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> God, it hurts. It's amazing how much pulled tendons can hurt. Oh boy. Well, the good news is they say I'm gonna live. The bad news is I'm gonna be on crutches for a while. Hopefully, it's not going to interfere with heading south too much. Damn, it hurts though. Oh, does it ever. So, out of commission for at least a week, probably more. And then, uh, we'll see. They say most of the pain is from swelling and inflammation. And it'll take a week or two. And once that's gone, the pain should subside. So we will see. I don't know. It hurts like hell. Hard to walk. But at least I'm walking out of here with the help of some crutches and not looking at surgery or something. Now, for me, I've got this nifty leg brace that, well, let me show you here is see every everything's difficult can't even hold the camera this is immobilizing don't want to put that too far my knee and it goes all the way from my hip all the way to my ankle and I tell you, makes a few things a little bit awkward. Like, for example, getting into the truck. Now, how, how, how might I do that? You see, normally, it's not much of a problem. I can grab one of the two handles or just jump right up, but not going to be so easy now. Let, let me show you. How, how do I do this? Uh, well, maybe I start with my, my good leg. Maybe. It's not working very well. Getting out of breath, just trying. Maybe, maybe I'll just pull myself up. Oh, oh, oh. Just the weight of my leg hanging down from my knee. I don't think that's gonna work either. What am I gonna do? How do I get in? Well, let's try the front door. Maybe that'll be easier. 
let's see how this goes. This is actually how I've been doing it, guys. And it still, still isn't easy. There's the step, of course, going in the front door. So that makes it a whole lot easier. I can lift my good leg up, push my crutch. I feel like I'm halfway there. At least I'm sitting in the truck. And from here, I, uh, I just try and and oh, it's exhausting. It's painful too. But from here, I can kind of pull my leg up. And, oh, 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 ah, that's better. Get it a little bit on the step. And then, can sort of use the crutch to get my leg the rest of the way in. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. Step two. Now, this brings up another little problem which is driving because in a van it's kind of a bent leg seating position but it it works I can just barely put my leg in over there with the seat all the way back and at least I have my right leg to drive so from this point I just I just kind of drag my stuff in. See my mess around here, guys? I uh, sure haven't been doing much tidying up. I got stuff everywhere. Because it's just, it's just too painful. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to get in and out of this truck any more than I have to. Once a day, that's my goal. But Sometimes that's tough. Let me drag myself through and I'll show you how the rest goes. And as you can imagine, it's quite a painful process. Now, when I'm filming this, I'm almost a week after the initial injury. This was excruciating the first three days. Just unbelievable. Any pull on my knee was just absolutely, just insanely painful. Just the weight of my leg, my lower leg, hanging from the knee. Just ligaments and tendons torn. I just, you know, lost my footing a little bit, twisted my knee, walking on a hill just going down some grassy, grassy hill. No, no major thing, but oh boy, am I feeling it now. So let's continue on the process. I uh, just, I just try and use the seat. console and work my way back one step at a time it is an ordeal let me tell you oh boy man 
these hobbit doors are not that big either i'm not a huge guy but look at this it's a tight fit not a problem when i'm not injured but oh boy i think i'm going to enlarge this door <laughs> not today though <laughs> not today now as you can imagine getting out not a piece of cake either I get my crutch positioned outside, but the biggest problem is getting my leg out because, you know, it doesn't bend anymore. And it's, it's a heck of an ordeal. It really is. So I, I stick my crutch out the door and I kind of back out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall and hurt myself again. That's what I'm gonna do. But I get my right foot on that step and I use the crutch to kinda uh, stand up because then I can move my leg out and I just drop it down as quick as possible because as long as it's hanging in the air, it hurts like a son of a bee. It's not that crazy hot here, but it's, uh, I think it's just the, the added effort of all these simple tasks. I can get by pretty good with just the one crutch, and that's what I use most of the time. Just here, hanging out here today at this park. I got a ball diamond, a little kids play area. Some nice treed area back here. Nice pretty spot. Little bike path. And what's real nice, it's right over there. Not only Johnny on the spot, but garbage cans. Can you see it? I think the garbage can's on the other side. Trust me, it's there. I'm not walking over to show you though. Maybe there'll be a ball game here tonight. That'd be cool. Love watching the ball games. So my suggestion is you hunker down for a week or two. Isn't that a great American term? Hunker down. I haven't heard it in any other country I've traveled to. I've adopted it though and I'm using it, taking it for my own. So I'm hunkering down. And you know, maybe it's a Walmart parking lot that you're gonna spend a lot of time at. Maybe you can find a light industrial zone where you could literally park without being noticed for several days. But when you're in pain, you wanna move as little as possible. I'm staying inside, watching movies, doing hardly anything at all because I hurt I don't want to do anything more I just want to be recovered but where else could you go you know if you have friends that is going to be a great asset they can help walk your dogs help you get groceries get all the daily life things done that you don't want to do on crutches but if you're not so lucky you're just gonna have to make the best of it now one example is my friend blues boondocker do you remember him from a previous video chuck man what happened here <laughs> never seen that one before well over in slab city he was in the hospital for a few weeks and thankfully for him he had some friends that could watch his rig make sure nothing got stolen pack it up keep it safe so friends you know it makes it so much easier in so many ways when you're on the road but you know if you're alone you just got to make the best of it what are you going to do right but man 
if you've got someone that can help you out a bit, wow, geez, it's going to make your recovery a whole lot easier. Now, I think that it's essential to be wearing, you know, easy on and off clothes track pants or something that you can get on and off easy because if you're trying to fit into some tight jeans oh boy it's not gonna go well that's the next tip just wear comfy easy clothes just don't worry about fashion make it simple for yourself me not too worried about fashion on the best of days I love my track pants I'm gonna keep wearing them even after I'm recovered but what else? What can you do to make it a little easier? So, we've covered staying put, not traveling too far, because driving, man, that's gonna screw that knee up even worse. Trying to limit movement, stay in the truck as much as possible. See what friends you can find to help you out. Me, well, I had already been making arrangements to rent a driveway to park in, to do a little work on this beast. Has a fenced yard, power plug for the AC, storage for some materials there in the garage. So instead of doing work, I'm just taking it easy. But I can put the dogs in that fenced yard and they can hang out there most of the day. Really limits the possibility of them running into me, hurting my leg, me having to walk them, me having to deal with all the daily dog routine. So that has been a crucial benefit for me. Just a piece of luck, really, because I had already made plans. I already had a place scoped out. So it could have been a whole lot worse. At least I'm not stuck in an unfamiliar place with no one around to help, wondering how am I going to do this? Well, thanks for joining me, and please share any tips you have in the comments. What suggestions do you have for me? What can I do to make life a little easier until my leg is back to normal? I just love reading the comments, seeing what you guys have to say, and learning from all of you. I'm sure that some of you have been in a similar predicament and I would like to know any tips or tricks that you have for me. I'm Box Truck Corey. Thank you for watching.